Good morning and thanks for joining us. We're here at Bay Athletic Club today. I'm here with Rick Houchin, the personal trainer. And Rick is here to show us five exercises that we can do no matter where we are. So it doesn't matter if you're stuck in your house, you've got a little bit of cabin fever, maybe you're in a hotel room, it doesn't matter. You can do these workouts wherever you go. So let's get started. All right, thanks. Um, five exercises, no equipment needed. We're just gonna use your body weight. And the great thing about it is you can make this workout either five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, however long you want. So if you're compressed on time, you can go shorter. If you wanna go a little longer, you can go a little longer. All right, All right. sounds good. So, let's get right into the first one. It's called a skater hop or skater leap. Think of a ice skater, right? So you just kind of get those feet under your hips and then take a hop to the right and then a hop to the left. How you do it? You'll just do that for one minute. So the only thing you really need is a, a stopwatch. When a minute is up, we're gonna go right to exercise number two. Am I supposed to keep like as low as possible? You are or? in the perfect position. So you don't wanna be standing, you don't wanna be low, you wanna be a nice little quarter athletic position. Perfect. Okay. I feel like I got the hang of that you one. got it. Exercise two is everybody's favorite, a staple, is a push-up. Oh man, you're gonna make me I'm do a push-up? I'm gonna push make up? you do three push-ups, okay. three push-ups. Right down on the ground. And so the key with the push-ups here, Teresa, is your hands are directly under your shoulders, right? Step your feet back, and then you are in a nice tight plank position. Show, or you have a nice line from your ear all the way to your ankles, and you're gonna lower your body down until those elbows just touch your ribs, and then push right back up. Please, one more good one, just like that. Doing for live TV. <laughs> one more. Perfect. Ah. Now, just drop to your knees for a second. I want to show you an option. So if you can't do push-ups or you're still struggling, you just drop to your knees and now go do the exact same thing, but just from your knees. And lower yourself down. Give me two more, just like that. Oh, that's... Not too much easier, but just a little bit. Right, my arms are still feeling the burn, there but you go. it just feels like I can actually get myself up. I love it. Okay. That's number two. All right. Stand up. Number three, everybody, good, another good old fashioned favorite. They don't have to be crazy and unique to work, is just jumping jacks. You're All gonna right. give me a minute I of can jumping, do jumping jacks. jacks. I'm yep, start with those, those feet together. Arms overhead as your hands or legs come out to the side. Good. Love now, the jumping if you're looking, jacks. <laughs> nice and easy. If you're looking for a lower impact option, just don't jump. Just step those feet as you come out. Okay. So we're doing like this. You do it just like that. Lower impact. Low impact. That's what we love. Perfect. Where okay. are we at? Number four. Number four. Squats. Okay. You've done squats. I've seen you do them in the gym already. All right. Take those feet about hip width apart. How's that? There you go. And now remember, when you squat down, you're going to act like you're sitting in a chair. Do your you hips your go back. Yep. Over your toes. Your knees are right down over your toes. And what's really important is your heels stay on the ground. So I'm putting all my weight into my heels. Yes, ma'am. Okay, that feels like, get, ooh. Perfect, if you fall back a little bit. Which I just did. You know you're at least going in the right direction. Okay, there we go. Good, we're at number five. Last Final one. one, a little bit of core work. So you can have a seat here on the mat. Um, bicycle crunches. This is a favorite one here at the club. Okay. So, you're gonna lean back a little bit, kind of have your hands behind your ears, just don't hold on your head. And now bring one knee in, Crunch your left elbow over to that right knee. Should I put this leg out? Yep, extend that one. And then now switch. There you go, and we don't need to go fast because you're gonna do them for a minute. Oh, is there it the go. slower, the more challenging? Because that's what it feels like. The slower is more challenging. Good, give me three more. Two. Yep. Three. Perfect. Oh, that's enough for me. I know. <laughs> so, how we do those, right? If you want just a five minute, just quick pick me up to kind of get your day going, do each for one minute. If you want to make it a little harder, do two rounds. If you want to make it a little longer, do three rounds and you can go 15 minutes. Each what do exercise, you usually do, Rick? I would do at least 10 minutes. Okay, that sounds fair to me. Perfect. All right, 10 minutes on your mat. You can do it anywhere, you don't even need a mat. Those five quick exercises that Rick showed us will really help you to target your full body, right Rick? Yes ma'am, that's it. That's all we have for you today. Thanks for joining us.